Have you ever been flying over the Atlantic in a two-engined aircraft and wondered what would happen if your plane lost the function of one of its engines? Well, civil aviation authorities have thought long about this as well. That's why today we have ETOPS rules. Developed as a standard in the 1980s, these specifications have greatly shaped the development of commercial aircraft. It will be a cold day in hell before I let twins fly long haul over water routes. Lynn Helms, former FAA administrator, said these words prior to ETOPS rules. For good reason, Civil aviation authorities wanted to ensure that aircraft will be able to fly far enough to a suitable airport should something happen to an engine. Therefore, airlines would get around ETOPS restrictions by using quad jets or tri jets for their trans oceanic routes. In fact, the A340 was developed to get around ETOPS restrictions by having four engines but a smaller capacity than the 747. Perhaps the original attempt to answer the long and skinny route requirements. ETOPS is an acronym that stands for Extended Range Twin Engine Operational Performance Standards. In 1985, special allowance was given to Trans World Airlines to fly their twin-engine 767 transatlantic from Boston to Paris. This was the first ETOP certification rating given. ETOPS 120 minutes. This means that twin-engine aircraft were allowed to fly no more than 120 minutes away from the nearest airport suitable for an emergency landing. Decades prior to this, the FAA had a 60-minute rule that restricted twin-engine aircraft to a 60-minute diversion area. This number was based on the piston engine reliability of the time, but the rule had some special flexibility pending special approval. Shortly after, the ICAO recommended a 90-minute diversion time for all aircraft, which was adopted by many regulatory authorities and airlines outside the US. Things have come a long way since then in terms of confidence in the reliability of aircraft and their engines. According to Wikipedia, ETOPS 120 became the standard, but this gave way to ETOPS 180. Achieving this increased rating was only possible after a year of trouble-free 120-minute ETOPS experience. Eventually, the FAA was convinced to allow ETOPS 180 on an aircraft's entry into service. Now, ETOP certifications go as high as 370 with the Airbus A350. Reports from 2014 indicate that Airbus was seeking ETOPS 420. However, not much reporting exists regarding an aircraft achieving the certification. Flight Global reported that a particular Rolls-Royce engine was given this increased rating. EASA lists a maximum diversion duration of 420 minutes for the Trent XWB-97 engine, including 405 minutes at maximum continuous thrust plus 15 minutes at hold thrust. Higher and higher ETOP certifications are an indication of increased reliability and safety. As aircraft manufacturers work to increase the range and efficiency of their aircraft, engine manufacturers must keep up with their ever-increasing standards for reliability. Therefore, with longer routes across oceans, the flying public should feel safer knowing that the newer jets are achieving these increased ratings. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to this channel.